thank you all so much. Um, uh, as per usual, I didn't prepare a great speech. Uh, I actually wrote it um, sitting here watching the age group uh, awards uh, moment, you know, a few moments ago. Um, uh, so one, I didn't prepare a great speech. Two, I'm keen to save my legs for the dance party that will happen. And I'm sure these girls are pretty keen to save their legs for the dance party that's going to happen in about probably half an hour. <laughs> and, uh, thirdly, I kind of need to go to the toilet. <laughs> so uh, we'll keep this brief. Um, firstly, I want to acknowledge my competitors. Uh, any one of these women here on the podium could have been in this place today. Um, truly 100% you know, believe that these women are amazing competitors. Um, a number of them have kicked my butt in other races throughout the year and over the years and I've gotten to know a lot of them very personally and, and have become friends. So uh, congratulations on getting on the podium and uh, no doubt I'll see you again and again um, and we'll you know, have many great fights throughout the rest of our careers. Um, Next, I must uh, thank the volunteers. I mean, we all know that we wouldn't be able to compete and race and have such great days without the amazing volunteers out there. I mean, I remember, you know, the second aid station on the run, I feel like there was a dance party out there on the Queen K, and I'm like, that's freaking awesome. Uh, they had like a choreographed, I mean, maybe I shouldn't have noticed that, but I noticed a choreographed dance party out in aid station two on the run. And um, I just thought that was so cool. Um, and throughout the day, the energy and the support from the volunteers was amazing. Um, to the finishers, everybody who finished today, uh, we had great conditions. Uh, we had a tailwind. I mean, you know, we started 30 minutes earlier than you guys, but we had a tailwind for a lot of the way out to the uh, out to Hawaii. Uh, I mean, Harvey. I'm just so nervous. Uh, out to Harvey, and uh, I'm sure you guys felt it as well. And then uh, cloud cover a lot of, for a lot of the run, and then rain later on in the afternoon. So really great conditions. Thank you, Madame Palais. Thank you. We had um, great conditions, and uh, I think that enabled us to go super fast. Um, also, yeah, again, my competitors for pushing the envelope. Um, the raise was set with Paula uh, many years back, and then Chrissy Wellington. Um, you know, you guys raise the bar and raise the bar, and that's what we train for. We train to hit those marks and go even faster. And uh, and these girls here, I, I wouldn't have had the day I did without these guys pushing me all the way. Uh, certainly through the latter part of the marathon, I was hating Joycey for uh, continuing to push me uh, through mile 14 to 18 to 20. She was still a minute back. I'm like, Jesus, Joycey, just give it up. Let's just, let's just get to the finish line. Um, but thank you for pushing me. I would not have been able to get the performance out of myself without you know, such great competition in, in you guys. Uh, this is kind of a re weird segue, but um, like, I don't know, a month ago I was randomly searching on Facebook, you know, randomly looking through Facebook after a swim session and I, and I found um, about it, out about Diana Nyad's quest to swim from Florida to uh, Florida Keys, uh, sorry, to Cuba, from Cuba to Florida Keys. And that really inspired me, and I followed her journey. It ended up taking her 53 hours, 110 miles she swam. She's double my age, 64 years old, I'm 32. And I was blown away uh, by that amazing performance. Um, and that she had three messages that really resonated well with me and Iron Man, I think. The first one is, we should never give up. And that's the Iron Man spirit. Anything is possible. Secondly, you're never too old to chase your dreams. And uh, I um, watched as the last finishers crossed the line last night, Harriet Anderson in 1656-51, two minutes faster than her prior year.
I'm, I'm gonna call it Harriet the Honey Badger Anderson. <laughs> I didn't realize she crashed her bike out there and still managed to finish. You're one of my heroes. Um, congratulations on finishing, getting under that 17 hour mark again. Um, I really look up to you and you're, you're truly an inspiration. Uh, the third thing Diane and I had said was, it looks like a solidarity sport, but it takes a team. And that really, you know, hit home with me. Um, my A team, I call them, are my everything. Um, I'll start with my mum who comes out here every year to watch me race and support me. Uh, mum, you know, you've supported me through the highs, the lows, you know, like any mum would. Um, she comes out here every year and sits in the background. I don't get to see her during before the race because I'm so busy. I don't get well. Luckily, I was super busy after the race this year because I did well. I didn't get to see her after the race, and she leaves tomorrow. So I'm in the U.S. all year. She's in Australia. Briefly saw me a couple of times, and then um, she heads out on on Monday afternoon. So I'll see you at the wedding, Mum. <laughs> Sorry. Love you. Um, Second on my A team, well not second, these are all e equal on my A team, my fiance, Tim O'Donnell. Uh, I love you so much. I can't wait to be, actually I'm not changing my name just yet, but uh, I can't wait to get married to you. Uh, two months and counting, um, you're my best friend, you're my everything, and I can't wait uh, to share the rest of our lives together. I love you. Siri Lindley, I, uh, I don't know if you guys followed the story, but I left Siri and went back with Siri, and she, it, I wouldn't want to be on this journey with anyone else. Um, the connection we have and the magic we have together is is something to behold and, and it's something special, and I appreciate you and everything that you bring to the table. You're a special person, and I want you to know that I appreciate everything you do for us as athletes. Um, you're, I, I can't say enough for what she does as a, a coach and what she invests, invests in her athletes. So thank you, Siri Lindley. <laughs> Jay Dibbs, um, Julie Dibbins, she actually already left tonight, but uh, she's been one of my best friends, uh, greatest supporters through the past number of years. She actually crashed her bike, well she didn't crash her bike, she was riding a bike on Friday before the race and was hit by a car. I don't know if you guys heard, rushed to the hospital. She's okay, she's totally fine, but she was out there on the, you know, on the E drive, on the Queen K, cheering for me, bandages and all. And that just goes to show how tough she is, how great a friend she is, and, and what she's willing to do to support a, a friend. So she's not here tonight. She's actually flying home probably any minute, uh, hopping on a plane back to the US. Hopefully, she'll be able to race six Sarah World Champs. But J Dibs, I love you. <laughs> Next, um, my management, Wendy Ingram, Shannon Delaney. Wingnut! <laughs> Uh, my, my wing nut, she, uh, the past year, has. she lives in Denver, I live in Boulder, every Wednesday she drove to Boulder, she led the swim out, uh, if you know history of Ironman, she's always been one of the best swimmers in the sport, and she's been putting all her energy into trying to teach me how to swim. Um, I've been trying very hard to live up to your expectations. Uh, she'd come to Boulder Wednesday, hour drive there to do an hour swim, an hour drive back. She's got a, I don't know, four-year-old child that she had at home uh, and many other commitments that she needed to deal with, but she, every Wednesday, without fail, would be there for me. So I appreciate that wing, um, and I love you. Uh, Shannon, man. This week would never go as smoothly without you. You make sure I'm on time to every appointment, um, make sure I look good in front of my sponsors, uh, I'm wearing the right gear. Uh, seriously, I appreciate everything you put into, you know, year round, uh, into me and uh, the rest of the girls that you represent as well. Um, to PCA Sports, I love you guys. I also have to make a small mention to Crowey Alexander. I know he's up the back somewhere and he didn't have the best race, but you are a true, true champion. Um, I, hope, I hope you know how much
much everybody really respects and loves you. Uh, I know you do. Um, <laughs> Three-time world champion, uh, course record holder here in Kona. And I've always looked up to you and followed in your footsteps. Um, in your fifth year here in Kona, you broke the course record. In my fifth year, I broke the course record. So I'm, what do I do next? Help me, seriously. Um, Crowy, you're, you're amazing. Uh, and thank you for all your support over the years and your kind words and encouragement and always um, not putting yourself first. I mean, you certainly, you know, when the gun, gun goes off, you, you race for yourself. But outside of that, I feel like you've always been such a great ambassador for the sport and um, no excuses. And I love that about you. Lastly, I must thank all the support around the world, uh, the you know, spectators out there, the other competitors. Um, throughout the years, after winning 2010, um, I, I really feel like in races that I go to, I, I get such great support. I, I mean, I have uh, my lead bicycle or second place bicycle or whatever. Um, in Muskoka a few weeks ago, I caught up to the lead girl and then the lead cyclist took over and I was running along and I got so many people cheering for me and, and really pulling for me and, and he's like, oh, no wonder you caught up. And that's so true. The energy that I've been given from around the world, um, from home, it's, it, I really appreciate it. And um, it really goes a long way in, in helping me continue to be the athlete that I be. And thank you so much. Congratulations, let's go enjoy the after party. We're gonna put her up there one more time. Top 10, get your shots. There they are, the best in the world. And you pro men start moving to stage.